Hi there, another episode of Shapemaster. Uh, today we will talk about how to use Shapemaster as scaling tool, slew limiter, offset tool, wrapper, clamper, attenuator, window comparator, voltage utilities, uh, rectifier, wave shaper, saturation, clipping, wave folding, bit crushing, VCA, amplitude, modula amplitude modulation, and so forth. Um, this module is just insane. And I think it uh, it's pretty incredible that so far every episode uh, of this uh, uh, you know, of these tutorials, I only used one mode. See, there there are five different modes, and so far we've been using only this automatic. So today we will switch to another one, which is CV Playhead. It's probably my favorite uh, favorite mode, and. Uh, What's, uh, what happens is, um, let's do, yeah, you, you, you're supposed to connect your voltage into trigger gate input. And now this module become, becomes remapping <laughs> module, basically. So you can put any function, any transfer function inside and, and, and you'll get the result. Uh, my recommendation is when you switch to this mode, also go to this option first and last nodes and decouple them. Because if you don't, you will have this. Uh, however, with decouple, this really becomes much more uh, flexible and convenient tool. So right now, notice that this module doesn't do anything. CV comes uh, in and gets out and doesn't get changed. However, we can use it as a scaling scaling tool. By the way, there are some tooltips here. So you can always see, okay, three volt, three volt, or sorry, seven volt, right? So now it becomes uh, a scaling tool between three and seven. So scaling tool. Now, as a bonus, you have a slow limiter over here, right? So check. Um, offset tool. Without doing anything, you can move phase, and then this module becomes a very interesting um, offset tool. Notice that now we are adding about three volt. Um, probably, if it's uh, yeah, we could tweak it. Uh, but then, if when it gets to ten volt, it wraps all the way to zero. By the way, I have slow limiter, so let's turn it off. See, it's a very interesting offset that will always stay in the, the range that you choose over here. Um, okay, so we have offset tool. Now, speaking of wrapping, um, that might be handy too. Just create that shape and from 0 to 5, you will have 0 to... Um, sorry, I think it's, uh, it's the other way around. Yeah, from 0 to 5 volt, you're getting 0 to 10, and then it wraps again to 0. Um, so that's a wrapper. Clamper, okay, let's say you have 10 volt, 10 volt range, and um, so you need to select this grid for precision. And let's say you want to clamp your CV at three volt. Notice that now, because we selected grid of 10 volt and it matches our range, um, this line goes evenly through through, through those um, crossing points on the grid. So we'll say, okay, three volt and tooltips will even show you where it falls and over here. And all we need to do is, I'm holding command by the way, right? And now we have a nice clamper the voltage will never go outside of this range. So, clamper. Okay, attenuator. Um, for attenuator, it's probably the simplest. You can do, cream, oh yeah, hold on a second, this is better. Let's say you have the starting shape and you just press invert. <laughs> now it's inverter. And obviously, um, you can manipulate it a little bit. Obviously, you know, it's not the, the, e, the, the most convenient attenuverter if you have to move to nodes, but hey, it works. Uh, window comparator, so this is great. Um, normal comparator would, would look like this. Now, 
Uh, let's say I want to use it on bipolar signal, like audio, for example. So I'm selecting bipolar on both. And I, I want to uh, trigger gate whenever I'm crossing zero, right? So whenever it goes above zero, it will give me 10. And then, um, so yeah, it's greater than zero will give me uh, full voltage here. However, we can also do something like this. So now it becomes window comparator because, you know, in this small range uh, around zero, it will trigger 10 and then it will go to zero again. And here's the convenience thing. You can also use this to shift that window. So it's really nice. Uh, I have uh, in modular, sorry, in Eurorack, I have a, a JAR analog dual window comparator and it's sometimes it's just awesome to put on um, on sounds. It's very aggress aggressive distortion and, and then you modulate uh, warp for really beautiful effects. So window comparator. Okay, voltage utility. Um, I created a bunch of presets for you guys. I wanted to contribute something. So uh, here you have voltage utilities. Um, so we can convert um, voltage and notice that it's, it's because we have bipolar input but uh, unipolar output. So we have uh, five, uh, basically five to five to uh, zero to ten and then uh, the other way. Uh, exponential to linear, different modes, exponential to linear, uh, yeah, linear to exponential. Sometimes I was always missing it a little bit. Uh, disclaimer, it's not super precise mathematically, but I just made it as close as possible without being ridiculous. Rectifier, yes, we can do rectifier, full wave, uh, half wave. And it, this, this rectifier can be also extremely flexible because you can morph it and so you, can, you can get the gist. So voltage utility, rectifier. Now let's move to audio rate signals. So here I will play this um, little uh, testing pattern. Uh, so wave shaper is very simple. Um, from the starting shape, I'm pressing, uh, right clicking on, uh, on this node and I'm getting S shape. Right, notice that I have bipolar input and 0 to uh, minus 5 to 5 output. So it's very simple. Um, now you can obviously be very, very creative uh, with this and I to, keep, to share some of my ideas and hopefully some of this will inspire you guys. Um, wave, um, wave shapers, uh, saturation and so forth. So let's listen to some of those presets I made right now. So yeah, um, saturation, uh, distortion, clipper. Um, I also created a bunch of presets here, uh, wave folders. So you have uh, fairly aggressive digital wave folders here. So yeah, for uh, East Coast, if you want. Uh, for East Coast, actually, uh, I created a software version, uh, what I called analog folder. And finally, we, uh, we also have Unity uh, gain folder. Um, and so yeah, wave folders, and let's go to bit crushing. So uh, here we have another series of bit crushers. So we have, I calculated actually that this, this corresponds to real life uh, two bit uh, bit crusher. And I, I also created softer version and finally, um, kind of, you know, this is my imagination. This is not uh, nothing, nothing scientific, but I just, just like the sound of these two. So let me show it to you.
So yeah, bit crashing and kind of uh, d destroying her signal. And finally, um, um, let's uh, initialize this shape again. And this is maybe a good point to review. Uh, decoupled, straightforward uh, ramp, and make sure you have uh, this mode on CV. And, um, and uh, remember that we can also use this module as VCA. So instead of this VCA, we will go through this uh, module over here. Okay, and now we are... And it doesn't yet work because we need to um, switch from bipolar to unipolar. And uh, this VC is very comfortable because even with one knob you can make it punchier. So it's very nice. And since we can do uh, this, we could also do amplitude modulation. Right, so VCA <laughs> amplitude modulation. And uh, my apologies if I missed something. I'm quite sure I missed many, many other possibilities, but uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys find it inspiring. And uh, as always, Shape Master is just awesome. <laughs>